Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time is the second part of the Q&A video where I explain fast charging uh, chargers. So this video is going to be on uh, the devices. Uh, this is a big question that I, uh, I get from a lot of people that if I have a fast charger, is it safe to use a fast charger on a non-fast charging device? And uh, for example, uh, this give, uh, the, the Note or the LG G6, both of them support 15 watts of uh, fast charging power. So will a 20 watt uh, power uh, charger charge them at 15 watts? Because ideally, if you think about it logically, if it's got 20, so it can obviously give you 15 watts. But that's where you are uh, going to get confused and that's the problem that a lot of people have. Now I'm going to use the fast charging cable that comes with Samsung so I can test it on a Samsung device. So that's it. Now I'll put it on the Note. Okay, now you see it just gives you 5 volts, uh, 5.11 uh, volt and 0 0.42 ampere. So that's the lowest that you can go. So now this is a dash charger which gives you 20 volts. This is a phone which supports uh, 15 watts, but just because it's 20 doesn't mean that it will give you 15 watts of power. So that's the limitation. So the dash charger, now this is for all the OnePlus people, the dash charger can either go to the lowest one, which is uh, like 5 volts, 1 ampere or 5.11, but almost there, 5 volt, 1 ampere, that's the lowest that it can go. The highest that it will go is directly to your 20 watts one, but that will only work with your OnePlus uh, device it will not work with uh, these kind of devices now let me show you something else i'll try charging the lg g6 okay so it hovers around the same area 15 sorry 5.13 uh, volt and almost 0 0.6 ampere so it's somewhere around uh, the same uh, like how it was showing for that let's Check some other device. Okay, so now let's try charging the iPhone. And it gives you 5.15 to 0 0.8. So it's almost the same. So it is safe to use a dash charger with a regular phone, no matter which phone it is, an iPhone, uh, uh, LG or Samsung, anyone, because it will not give you a fast charging voltage. Now that's a limitation that this has. Okay, so let's try using the adaptive charger with a Samsung device. Now this charger knows that a Samsung device which supports fast charging has been connected. So automatically the power jumped. So it will go to somewhere around 9.1 point something. Now let's try testing this with a LG device which also takes 15 watts but it's a different company altogether. Okay, so I've connected the LG G6 and now let's see what's the charging that we get. You will see that the power actually jumps. Now, this explains to you that it does not matter if you have a charger that came with the LG or not. You can use any, any 15 watts charger, whether it's the Samsung one or whether it's the LG one or whichever it is. You can use that to charge any phone. All that you have to remember is what's the voltage, uh, sorry, wattage, so W. So if uh, this supports 15 watts, so you have to get another 15 watts uh, charger. So any 15 watts charger is good enough for any phone, at least from what I've tried. I don't use the same charger for the same phone. I use one charger for all of them. So it is actually safe. Now, the technology has actually improved so much that uh, chargers actually check with the phone that how much of voltage can you support and can I give you that much of voltage or not and then it charges it accordingly. So even if you have a powerful uh, charger but the phone is not uh, a fast charging device, it will not give it uh, 10 volts of or 15 watts of power, it will give it just 5 volts of power which is the lowest that it can go to. So that's why it's safe to use it in any of them. Uh, the iPhone does not work with any of your regular uh, charging cables. It does not work. It'll any power bank that you can any power bank or charger that you connect. It'll only go to five volts, one ampere max, 
uh, it will not go beyond so that. So that's it. I think this should explain to you how does fast charging work. Uh, there's no use of using the um, slower one because you will see that the slower one actually charges everything slow because it cannot go faster. So it is safe. So the two questions have been answered. Are the charger safe for any phone? So if you have a, a higher capacity charger and a lower capacity phone, uh, is it safe to use them? Yes, it's safe to use them because the charger itself decides, it talks to the phone first, it decides whether uh, the phone is able to support that much of voltage and according to what voltage it has, uh, or it can support, it gives it that much. So it will not go in between, like you've seen three stages, you've seen the lowest one, the two ampere, and then you have uh, the five or two ampere one, then you, uh, so basically 10 watts, 15 watts and 20 watts. So it will not go in between. So it will not go like uh, if, uh, your phone supports 15 watts and the charger is 20 watts, it will not give you 15 watts. It will go to the lowest one that the charger supports. It will not go in between. So that's one more problem that these chargers have. So that's all that you have to look into. So in case you have uh, further uh, questions, you can always uh, comment or uh, if you want to talk to me directly, you can actually add me on Facebook. Uh, I do respond to uh, Facebook Messenger, Instagram. So you can message me there and I'll answer your questions over there. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.